Hi, my name is Katerina Giorgio. Today I'll be discussing my professional portfolio. What type of photographer am I? I would say that I'm primarily a portrait photographer as people are my main subject of choice as I love to capture people's unique physical characteristics throughout my work. I enjoy taking fashion portraits particularly as I feel with this style of photography I can be more creative in terms of choosing the type of location, props, lighting and model I want to photograph. I also find famous fashion photographers works such as Paolo Aversi, Tim Walker and Peter Lindbergh very inspirational as I appreciate their style of imagery. So now I'm going to show my PDF portfolio. For my fashion portfolio, I've designed a digital PDF file. This includes 24 selected images, which I feel show my style and creativity as a photographer. In my fashion portfolio, I've been able to explore location photo shoots and studio photo shoots, exploring different color schemes, lighting and models. I feel my style of photography can be characterised as being quite experimental, moody and sometimes playful as a result of different elements I've explored, such as colour gel lighting, movement and harsh shadows. Now I'm going to show you my climate change project. So in addition to my fashion photography, I've also created a separate project which I feel shows my versatility as an artist. This project has more of a fine art feel and is focused on raising awareness about climate change and how this may affect our children's future. As climate change is such a big topic, I wanted to focus on how animal agriculture is affecting climate change. This project combines images of children looking distressed with images of farmed animals. For this project, I've designed a book. So this is an example of my book design. I've decided to use a dark blue front cover for the book as I feel this is coherent with the colour scheme of my portraits. I also decided to keep all of my text at the beginning of my book so that this does not create a distraction from my images. This includes a title page, quote and my artist statement. For my photographs, I've followed a specific sequence, which is one portrait of a child, followed by one portrait of an animal, followed by two images of each subject placed on the same page. For the two images I've placed together, I focus on choosing images which work well together in relation to portraying my message. I have also placed my website at the back of my book design so that people can find more of my work. So now I'm going to show an example of my website. So for my website, I've designed a layout that is well presented and easy to navigate around. I've included two portfolios, one for my fashion work and one for my projects on climate change. So portfolio one, fashion, portfolio two is my climate change project. I've also included a contact page which displays a short but descriptive sentence about myself as well as a contact form. And then I've created a link to my social media Instagram account. My Instagram also links back to my website and I've displayed a short description of myself and where I'm located. So now I'll discuss my business card design. So for the front of my business card, I decided to use a similar color scheme to my website, mostly using black and white. 
I have also displayed my initials with a pink border on the front, which I feel represents my style as a photographer, as I like to create contrast with colour and I feel this also looks modern. The back displays my contact details in black and white colour scheme and I have also used the same font that I used on my website to create a coherent and professional visual identity. Lastly, I have designed a CV that includes three paragraphs about myself. This describes my skills, strengths and experience as a photographer. I have highlighted the software and the equipment I have experienced using as well as highlighting my qualifications and my experience working within a photographic setting. My ambition is to apply to jobs such as photo editor jobs, studio assistant jobs and freelance photography jobs, particularly in the fashion industry, with the hopes of developing my career and experience within the industry. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed my presentation.